Thank you, Mr. Harvey. Bang on two minutes. I now call Margaret MacDonald. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Willie Rennie was quite wrong when he said we would not be better just because we're independent. If you're dependent on yourself, you try harder, you achieve more, you grow bigger. So we would be better. It's been usual over the years for the arguments of independence to question whether Scotland could go alone econ economically without the shelter and financial support of the big, strong United Kingdom. It's now a very different question that we in Scotland must address. Can we afford to remain part of a United Kingdom which is anything but economically strong and has changed from a rich country to one that's getting poorer by the month? When we talk about our relationship, we are in fact talking about Scotland and England, and the latter is by far the significant political and economic senior. So if an inequality of status is presently Scotland's lot, do any of the people chanting stronger together, weaker apart, aspire to change this relationship to one of equality? And if not, why not? And if the unionists and their fellow travellers don't seek equality of status, that's presumably because they believe they can somehow, after the referendum, wipe out the wastelands and wasted lives in the district of Glasgow and the west of Scotland, identified as having streams of poverty and deprivation that proclaim the ever more impoverished state of the UK, as well as its integral unfairness. Stronger together, young soldiers sent to war without the proper boots, with guns that don't fire, and with any ineffective motorcades, not at all. Stronger together, punching above our weight, because the UK sits in the UN Security Council as a permanent member, while neglected old people live out their lives to sad, miserable ends and dreadfully miserable homes. We can do it, and we know fine we can do it. It's just why don't we want to do it? To the cry that the UK is rich and we can't afford to leave it, just remember, the UK spends £126 billion a year more than it earns. Everywhere you look, the claim of being rich collapses under the facts. Of every £10 worth of cuts in the government's deficit... I regret, Mrs Macdonald, your time's up. Excuse me, Ms. McDonald. Time's up, sorry.